Hey, this is the Comic Artist Pro Secrets channel on YouTube, and my name is Ethan Van Skyver. I am uh, your host. You're my guest. Welcome. Uh, today we're going to uh, go over one point perspective. Now, uh, last time we uh, spoke about perspective, um, we uh, did a whole lesson about one simple thing, and that's the horizon line. And I think the horizon line is important because the horizon line um, is going to be the foundation um, uh, by which you build your, your perspective grid. And uh, you're going to need to understand that first and foremost. So if you wouldn't mind, if you haven't seen that lesson yet, please go back and review it now and uh, come back and join us once you've got a, a, a good grasp on what the horizon line is, how to use it, what it means. Uh, in your drawings. Okay, for the rest of you, let's talk about one point perspective and what one point perspective is. So, one point perspective is a tool uh, that you can use in your drawing to make, you know, I, I think one point perspective has absolutely the most impact. It actually uh, produces a sense of thrust uh, of uh, energy uh, forward motion, like uh, in a way that two point and three point perspective don't. Um, one point perspective um, is great for movement, and it's a very simple tool. And I'll teach you how to do it. This image right here is, believe it or not, one point perspective. Uh, I know it looks overwhelming and it looks complicated, but actually, it's only one single point. And I'll use my pencil here and show you. I think it's about right there. <laughs> this dot right here. Everything converges. Maybe it's, I don't know, it's around here somewhere, I can't remember. But basically everything, all of these lines will converge um, to that same point, okay? Uh, you know, once you know uh, where your vanishing point is, um, you can build as much craziness as you want off of it. Let me show you what I mean. Let's remove this and reveal the paper underneath. I'm sure you guys uh, are going to be experts by the time we're done this. Let me get my pencil. Let's draw a, pan a panel. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So what we're going to do is uh, just, if we were going to imitate what we just saw there, we're going to choose our horizon line and we're going to skew it a little bit for fun. Okay, we're going to draw it right here. And we are going to put a vanishing point. Now you can, this is our horizon line. You can put a vanishing point anywhere on this horizon line that you want. Absolutely anywhere. If you put the vanishing point here, you're going to get a road kind of that goes off into that into that direction there and you know you could use that if you say say you were drawing the flash uh, you know you could have the flash running across the page in that direction okay like so I don't know if you can see my scribbles here and then boom you've got this that's gonna kind of give him speed and energy um, however on the drawing that uh, I just showed you, uh, the vanishing point is right in the middle. Oh, here's my eraser. Always keep your desk neat and clean. <laughs> I tried to clean my desk up a little bit today, um, but there's still a lot of different papers and things on there. Okay, so let's put a vanishing point right on the horizon line. The vanishing point is always going to be on the horizon line. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to build what's called a perspective grid. And this uh, is easier than you might think. I mean, basically, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to draw parallel lines. And I, I, I do it faster by using both sides of the ruler like this. This is the point that if I... Uh, understood how to edit a video, I would speed this up and you'd see me going comically fast. And I'd say, there, we're done. Almost like a cooking show when they pull um, you know, the pie out of the oven. 
after they just put it in one second ago and it's already done. Okay, so we got lines going this way and then we're gonna do perpendicular lines. I could actually go for some pie right now. Pumpkin pie. That would be good. I'll eat a whole pumpkin pie. I'll pick it up and eat it like a sandwich. Like a calzone. Okay, there we go. We got a nice uh, kind of grid. And then we're going to build off of our vanishing point and we're gonna draw all kinds of lines off of there. Okay, now everything is converging right at the vanishing point. And you can draw this grid as big. In other words, you can you can tighten these um, you know these lines if you want. You could draw more of them closer together. Uh, you can draw more uh, lines radiating off of your vanishing point if you feel like you need to. But the vanishing point is always going to be there to refer to. Okay. Um, there we go. All right, so I don't know if you can see, I don't know if this uh, makes any kind of impression on you whatsoever, but this is a one point perspective grid in the most simplest way possible. It's, it's you know, I didn't do anything tricky. We put the horizon line right down the middle. We put a vanishing point right down the middle. Uh, and now basically I want you to stare at it for a little while and you will be able to see anything that you want in here. Uh, on a very basic level, you will see a road coming out here off into the distance, right? There's the horizon. You could put a sun right here if you wanted to, or you could even do something. Uh, you could, I mean, that's an exterior. You, you could do the interior of a room. You could just say, this is a wall right here. And here's the ceiling. Okay. See what I'm saying? And then here's the floor and suddenly you're inside of a room. And using your vanishing point and your perspective grid, you could start putting in, I don't know, a table. Hey, remember what I told you about the horizon line, by the way, that, you know, um, if you are gonna draw a person in this room, let's say you, you, you put a human being right here, standing in the room. And it, okay, so it looks like it, it cuts him right across the chest. Uh, the, that rule that I taught you is going to apply. Everything in the room is going to relate um, to the the horizon line cutting him across the chest. So let's say he is going over to a table. Now, how, how tall is the table in comparison with him? That's where it's going to be uh, in comparison with the horizon line. So we're going to, we would actually put a table right here Okay, and then there's another person here saying, hey, Tommy, his name's Tommy, cutting him right across the chest. There we go. We can't see their eye because they're too close to the camera. That's okay because sometimes that's effective. Um, like so, okay, so this is two people inside of this space working in perspective. <sighs> Do you understand? All right, let's flip the paper over and let's do something else. We'll draw a nice little panel again. I'm telling you, I'm really digging working with a pencil again. It feels nice and smooth. All right, let's let's see what what could we do. Let's put a line. Let's put our horizon line really down low this time, so we're at ground level. This is where our eye line is. And let's put the vanishing point, let's be mischievous and put it right down here, okay? And then we're going to, you can do these in any order that you want. I'm gonna just grid this out for you. I don't need to, cause I'm an expert. I could already see what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna do this for you, just so you guys can get the visual idea and not feel left behind by the magic of one point perspective. 
By the way, it is also true that in one point perspective, you could um, put the vanishing point off of the panel. You can put the vanishing point off the page if you want to. You know what I like to do when I'm working on a, a comic book page, and I know that, say I'm working in a, a perspective where the vanishing point is way off the page, I'll actually tape a piece of typing paper along the side here. So this typing paper right here, tape it, and then I'll draw the horizon line out to it, and I'll put my little dot there, and then use a long ruler to do the ruling that way. Uh, you, could, you can do that with two-point perspective, too. I would have just a paper on either side if I needed to. All right, let's go. So now, what we're doing is we've got a nice worm's eye view. And we've got one point perspective. Uh, and the vanishing point is way back here. And that is kind of pushing us in this direction. Okay, it's like like a truck going, going by here. Just picture a tractor trailer in there. You can picture anything that you want. Let's see. Okay, so something like this. Now, we've done a nice perspective grid. We know that this is the ground probably, you know, it's the ground. Um, and so we can do anything we want now. We see these, we can see these as speed lines. We can use these, um, we can use our perspective grid uh, twice in two different ways. Um, you know, uh, this is a, a very good trick, especially if you are drawing uh, a character like the Flash. Really any superhero that moves at super speed, okay? Let's, let's draw the flash in here. Shh. Let's be quiet for a minute. I'm just kidding. You can talk. Alright, so. Somebody asked me to give them a, a lesson in figure drawing or, you know, maybe even just drawing the flash. And we'll do that. You can pick something up from this, I'm sure. This is just very, very quick. Now see how his uh, his foot that's going back there actually touches the uh, vanishing point. Now what happens is the vanishing point is going to propel him forward. All right, so we'll draw a little eyes here. I'm doing I'm doing slightly. You've seen my. I mean, my God, you've seen my layout pencils, you know they suck. I'm doing a little bit more work here for you. Alright. So which flash is this? Oh, I, I think it's Barry Allen, I don't know. You guys can say it's Wally West. That's fine. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so there's the flash, and he's running in this environment that we've created, and, and we know, because the vanishing point is really going to help us now, we can now shoot uh, speed lines off of his body, connect them all back to the vanishing point, okay? All of them, even if it feels like, it, like that doesn't seem right. But no, it's right. Trust it. Trust your vanishing point. It is right. You could even go past him if you want to, like like the air is, you know, has become kind of a wind tunnel. It's, it's pushing him along. So we're going to draw speed lines that actually go on the other side of his body where he hasn't even moved yet. He's the Flash. Okay. Now, there he goes. He's moving. Let's add some little lightning effects here. That's what the Flash has. He didn't used to. People used to yell at me because I put too much electricity and too much lightning around him. I said, there can never be enough. There can never be enough. Looks cool. Okay. 
Now, so we have the flash moving. We see that this is the ground. Now let's do something else to actually make him look like he's moving even more using our one point perspective grid. Let's draw a cityscape in the background. Not a cityscape, okay? You could do a cityscape if you wanted to. But let's do it like he's running down a busy road. And we're gonna use our perspective grid to, on, on the buildings too. So that the, it seems that the windows of the building are gonna actually contribute to pushing the flash forward. So let's just draw one line here. This is the side of a building. And it's got some cool bricks here. We wanna be careful of where the road is. The road's there so we can imagine the sidewalk. We can imagine you know, some kind of lamp post here maybe. All right. And then we're gonna just rule in some windows like so. And then we're gonna change the building. We're gonna do a different building here. And we're doing our um, vertical lines. Okay. And he's running by. And look, there's windows galore. And they're all leading back to that vanishing point. Okay. Um, now, let's say that this is a street corner here. Let's say that this right here, here's a stoplight, you know, right here and you're gonna have to cross the street. Well, now, what you have to do is you have to find your horizontal lines like this and measure the other side of the building. So it's almost like now what we've got is we've got this is the sidewalk that you will walk down and then you'd stop here and you could go down this alleyway if you want to. These windows are actually like right, you know, they're square, they're on there. They're not in perspective, but this side of the building is in perspective. So we're going to continue to push that back using our vanishing point. Okay, I would color this black right here. That's what I would do. All right, and on the other side, we can do the same thing because we have room over here. And we could actually draw even more building without being affected by uh, our flash figure who was a little bit in the way over here so you can see some more uh, architecture some people call this lazy architecture because I'm not actually but listen I would I mean if this were uh, in a comic book I'd be going to town okay I, I'm not lazy I would be doing a good job I would draw the hell out of these buildings oops Oh, look, see what I did? I imagined. No, you can't do that. You gotta, it's gotta go back to the vanishing point. That's better. Okay. You can't fake it. And when you've got a vanishing point and you've got your perspective grid, you won't have to fake it. And then, I feel like, like working on the flash figure more. But there we go. There's one point perspective with a superhero involved. And you'll notice, I mean, what we did, we took our one point and we used it to propel our superhero in the space, in his environment. And there's motion and movement. Um, that's one point perspective. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions at all, I mean, leave them for me below in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer every single one of them. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to my channel? There's going to be lots more content like this. I'm going to make perspective. I'm going to make drawing easy for you, easy to understand. Uh, I, am, uh, I am your teacher, and you are my student, if you want. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, Comic Artist Pro Secrets channel. Subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, I will see you again uh, in a few hours. Okay? Take care.